Welcome to the Tearset tutorial video series. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use image display tools in Tearset. To display a layer, click the display icon. You can also double click the layer name on the Tearset Explorer to display a layer, but since the display launcher offers a range of image customization options, we will focus on using the display launcher in this tutorial. First, you need to specify whether you want to open a raster layer, a vector layer, or a map composition. We'll look at a raster layer. Next, click the ellipses to browse through a pick list of files for the layer you want to display. You can then choose whether to display a legend and title here, and change the autoscaling options here. Autoscaling is an automated stretching method that affects the image display without affecting the actual image values. We will keep the defaults for now. You can also select a different palette or color scheme for your image. The currently selected palette is shown here. There are a few common palettes listed on this dialog box, but you can also choose other palettes by clicking the ellipses and browsing the Tearset Symbols files. Since Sierra 5 is a satellite image, I'll change my palette to grayscale. When you are satisfied with the image palette, autoscaling, and legend options available in the Display Launcher, click OK to display your image. Once an image is displayed, the Composer dialog will pop up. You can further customize your image display using the Composer. By clicking the Layer Properties icon, you can change your palette, alter the display minimum and maximum, and change autoscaling options. Let's see what happens if I change my autoscaling option to None, then click Apply to view the changes to the image. You can see that removing autoscaling makes the image and image scale difficult to interpret. If you make a change that you don't want to keep, you can always click the Revert button to reverse the changes. Click OK to exit the Layer Properties dialog box. Notice how this image looks kind of washed out. Most of the pixels seem to fall within a small range of values and thus are all represented by a small range of the palette. These three icons, Instant Stretch, Stretch Symmetrical, and Stretch Current View, can help add contrast to your image, making geographic features more readable. Stretch Current View is useful if you've zoomed into a segment of your image and want to enhance small differences in pixel values. Stretch Symmetrical is helpful if your image has both negative and positive values that need to be balanced. We'll use Instant Stretch, which is a good all-purpose stretching option. Notice how the full range of the grayscale palette is now used in the image? If you open the Layer Properties dialog again, you can see that the Display Minimum and Maximum have been changed as a result of the Instant Stretch. If you like the image display properties you've specified and would like them to be the default display settings for your image, you can click Save. The next time you open your layer, it will display with your chosen properties. Sometimes it may be helpful to view multiple layers in the same map window. You can add more layers to the selected map window by clicking the Add Layer icon. A dialog very similar to the display launcher will open. I'm going to add a vector layer of elevation contours. And I want a little more control over the display of this layer, so I'm going to use the Advanced Palette slash Symbol Selection tab. I'll choose a uniform color palette of black for the contours and make them extra wide so I can see them better. This layer has now been added to the Composer window. You can turn layers on and off by clicking the check mark next to their name. You can also change the order of the layers by dragging and dropping them.
If you want to remove a layer, click the layer name to highlight it, then click the Remove Layer icon. I'm going to add another layer depicting the risk of wildfire to my display window. See how the new layer completely covers the first? If you want to see both layers, try clicking the Blend icon. Now the two layers are blended together and you can see both layers at once. To undo the blend, simply click the Blend icon a second time. I'm going to add a third layer to demonstrate another option. This layer shows lakes with a value of 1 and all other areas as background with a value of 0. When I add this layer, it completely covers the other layers. But if I click the transparency icon, all areas with a value of 0 become transparent, leaving just the lakes visible. Again, you can undo the transparency by clicking the transparency icon a second time. If you like the display you've created in the Composer and want to be able to open this combination of layers with these display parameters later, you can click the Save icon and choose Save Composition to Map File. You can then reopen the composition you created by going to Display and choosing Map Composition as the type of file you want to open. These are only a few of the ways you can customize image displays in Tearset. Don't be afraid to experiment with image display options. You may need to try different combinations of display parameters to produce a good-looking image. For more information on image display in Tearset, check out the Tearset tutorial, which can be accessed by going to Help and selecting Tearset Tutorial. The first tutorial will offer more information on the topics covered in this video as well as a number of other Tearset basics.